Hey, Shalom. So this would be a first fruit right here. Psalms 98 verse 1, the victory, you know, so uh, one of the actors from this movie, Hacksaw Ridge, uh, her name is Teresa Palmer, um, she, uh, she approved a business request. Shimmy I was shy. You know. This guy right here, he's probably the next one I'm gonna try to get in touch with. DC. So the scriptures just tell us to abide in our labor. You know, it's on the sudden he can make a poor man rich. Um, had a UFO visitation and overcame suicide. So eleven and two and two, the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Remember that the scriptures uh, says that the truth has been so long without fruit, meaning yeah, these churches ain't and they never seen nothing like this. Actually, people been just waiting and waiting and waiting because the Lord uh, he can hide himself from the whole world and reveal himself onto. Just one person. That's how deep all this goes. 1117. But look what happened. What's happened to these these leaders out here? The, these government officials. They're they're speaking peaceable words onto them. But all was deceit, First Maccabees 1 and 30. For when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. So this is why suicide, we warn people about it because this is like the end of our enemies. Um, you hear it on commercials, advertisement, all types of stuff. It goes back to... Uh, 2 Corinthians 1 verse 9. People, they're going to be, I mean, scared out of their close places. Um, the angels, he's about to send evil angels upon the, the wicked men, you know. He'd let us know what their end is so we could warn people, like, hey, you keep on wanting to do what you want to do. There's a reward for that, too. I try to find the scripture though. It's, it's powerful scripture. Suddenly he makes his blessing flourish. Uh, oh, this is wrong. On the sudden he can make his poor man rich. That's how it goes. It was actually the same. Yeah. It's crazy. You could like to kiss 1121. Marvel not at the works of sinners. But trust in the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, shine abide in thy labor. We was all given a penny for our work, you know. But it's life, you know. Our, our, our life is that penny. For if it, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden, to make a poor man rich, the blessing. When you just, you know, become obsessed and addicted to these these words, you know. Blessing of the Lord, what is that? You know, a lot of people are trying to figure it out. But Mark 4 and 29 on the screen. Um, you're going to be, you know, like the rod of the curse is dried in 28. This curse is going to turn into blessings. You take heed unto the Most High. Alright, the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. Because remember, it says, uh, we're in a land of graven images of drought. Okay. Um, 
but it's their, their images, you know, their idols. All right, the graven images are they trying to be like the Most High. You know, that's the war out here. Jeremiah 50 and 38. And if you go above in Jeremiah 50, it tells you Jeremiah 50 and 52. He's gonna punish Baal. He's gonna he's gonna punish. And then Acts 7 and verse 7. Let's bring that up as well. I've seen visions of mass death in 2017. 2 Corinthians 2 and 12 came to pass. Matthew 25 verse 6 all in one night. And uh, 1 Samuel 3 and 15. So you got to remember what Isaiah 11 says. Quick of under I'm quick of understanding of these things because I went through hell. I went through what he's, he's going to put people through. I went through the strange slips. Okay. All these trials. All right, so let's go to Acts 7 and 7. And it's talking about the African Americans who were the true Jews, were, were, the really, were really the Hebrews that the Bible's been speaking about. Jeremiah 14 and 2, the, the true Jews were not Jewish. And what's, what's being revealed, it's being revealed according to Romans 8, 18, because those that's hating on us, you, you can't get into heaven. Those that don't forgive us for the witchcraft that they uh, they put us through, and, and we're, we're, we're to the best of our ability breaking out, they, they, can't, they can't hold that against us. They, that's why we got the victory, because they're going to try to keep this agenda going of oppression. Um... And it's just like we, the, the Lord's gonna show us what we got the victory over. People calling us gay, fucking women haters, uh, racist, all that. And all the, 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 as I see it, racism is, is in all that is spilled out through all these uh, these nations, all these people. You better, you better love God, or hey, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be on the next side. They're making it cool. They trying to, they really trying to make it the the real people of the Most High God to be weaklings and stuff like that. But really, we the ones that's in, we're the Marines, we're the we're the we're the Navy SEALs, you know, compared to them. We're the we're the we're the heroes, you know what I mean? The real heroes. Well, we, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, the Messiah's not coming back flying around in a cape. And he's not coming back with blonde hair and blue eyes. He had eyes like fire. He's made in the image of his father. Let's just, let's just read this Jeremiah 50 real quick. Because these movies are to help people visualize what's going on. Why did why did Desmond Doss uh, not carry a weapon? Because he knew you kill with the sword, you don't die by the sword. You know what I mean? We know the scriptures like curses. Uh, curses he that keepeth his sword from blood. What is that sword though? And you go into Ezekiel twenty nine, and you start to read farther down to the end of the passage. You understand. But that's the sword is this word. You hear that? You hear that? Your church is a lie. You hear that in the background. And that's what we're exposing. Yeah, their, their churches out here are, are lying. So Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word of the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Everything that this is from Leviticus 26 and 1. It's all wicked, wickedness. Alright? Spiritual wickedness. Like Ephesians 6 and 12. I believe. Um, we, we wrestle with not flesh and blood. So when people is trying to get you to hurry up and go to a war. That you don't Like. This is what they're doing to high schoolers. They was doing. They was doing it to us. Because they're like. We'll give you a $30,000 sign. Those are devils. What they're doing in the military. 
No. That's why I'm not in there. Because the same, same vibe. Same vibe happened. There's something going on in, in the military. Friendly fire. All that. And you're not you're not hearing all these stories because all this is shadow banned or whatnot. So it makes it even hard for us to even just tell our side of the story. And there's a, there's a lot of stories we have to have to get out before we go. This world's wickedness. Jeremiah 50. It's purely wicked. Okay. This is purely wicked. So look, this is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 2. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Meaning we ain't, we ain't supposed to be hiding this, you know. Say Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded. That's Bel the dragon. You go and you read about what Daniel did um, in the Apocrypha that don't even have that book in the Bible. But there's so many scriptures talking about how these graven images are the the images of of creeping, ca crawling beasts and devils. It's in, it says in Revelations, this place is habited of devils. Just like the movie from The Devil's Advocate. The whole time he was working for the devil. You know what I mean? So, these things are real. So, um... Bella's confounded, Murdoch is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which is Russia. And our elders teach us that that is Hebrew, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart both man and beast in those days, and in that time. Saith the Lord Yahweh, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, weeping, like according to Isaiah 9 and 4. They shall go and seek the Lord Yahweh, their God. We ain't going to be a stain upon the lies. All right. They shall ask the way to Zion with her faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. So meaning, this is happening. My people have been lost sheep. They're shepherds. These churches out here, Jeremiah 23, have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. And this is too deep, because if you, uh, oh, no, oh, no, precept, pre, precept upon precept, that's one real quick, Jeremiah 15, 8, 14, verse 18. So what's happening right now? But the Lord, he's, he's, he's opening our eyes to, we know where this place is. This is this is the re what what is it? this place is in the rest meaning was uh, these nine to five jobs, these churches out here, uh, saying all his name don't matter. When we hear these things, we understand who's speaking on the other side of them, right? Their tongue is gilded by the silversmith, like the scripture says. They can't they can't to no good they 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 know not you know. So, Jeremiah 50 and 6. This is a, a, a Yapa, a beautiful scripture for, for what it be. They have forgotten their resting place. Remember, we got our people trying to go to Africa. It's like, that's, like that's the motherland. You know? But no, that's, the, that's, the, that's just the land that, uh, of our cap, uh, of our cap, uh, What's the correct term? Captors. All right. We are the captives. They are the captors. Well, that's that was the land, the Hamites. All right. It's basically um. There's a difference between. There's a difference between what the Lord's doing in the last days because, 
You're going to know them by their spirit, by their fruits. We out here trying to free, free the, the true people who, who know how big this is. Just like, just like Facebook though, he called 50 of them to his room, 12 of them stay, only two or three actually stayed with him. And this is, this is bigger than Facebook, so. So, just like, People want to deny that we the true Jews. The scriptures as this, you cannot deny what the truth says. There's a reason why he made us stronger, faster. Um, it's just, according to the scriptures, we're smarter. Um, it's just, Jeremiah 31 and 2, at the same time, the Lord Yahweh same time saith the Lord Yahweh will I be the God of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people so remember what's what's happening in Jeremiah 31 is we're, we're being built again and this is what's happening we are taking the labors of our enemies of the heathen because they're not doing it they're not speaking up on the, the most crucial things of wickedness and witchcraft and deviation. They follow those that follow, that have familiar spirits, meaning they, they follow that. We understand that those familiar spirits are, are is a giant like Goliath, who we, who we are f fighting through social media uh, accounts, you would say. So we're not, we're not, we're not deceived. Because when you do good, this is just this is why we have the Lord on our side. Exodus fourteen and fourteen. But like he said, they're gonna be scoffers out there. These people out here who really and they're not gonna be satisfied unless they got close to you and draw blood. You know, just like they did the Lord back in the day. Those same spirits are here, and the Lord is about to those that have that should not have me wrench over them slay before me. We're seeing a lot of people go, and he's saving people at the same time. Um, see if you understand what verse three is talking about. Jeremiah thirty-one and three: the the Lord hath appeared of old unto me. Saying, Yeah, I have loved thee with the everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. This picture was drawn, created by the Most High. Listen, to forces of evil controlling our people. Song Deepish. That was the movie, um, I think Babylon AD, or uh, The Last Witch Hunter, or Van Diesel. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and thou shalt go forth in the dance of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant, and shall eat them as common things. And it shall be a day that the watchmen upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up. Design unto the Lord our God, Yahweh. For thus saith the Lord, seen with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Remember what uh, the chief of the nations. We're going to look into that because um, it says Babylon was the glory of all the nations. And now she's falling, according to biblical prophecy. Dollar, uh, like the the rugs being swept from underneath the floor, you would say. Um, this the country has the dollar fallen, and it's all it's it's all according. All the storehouses should be empty. 
So seeing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, your house is saved thy people, the remnant of Israel. So he's not coming back for everybody. He's coming back for the remnant first. And then he's coming for the people who's helping the remnant. So people got to help us explain what is really going on. All right. So according to Jeremiah 18 and 18, there's people hindering all right, the remnant. And it's not going to be good because right, they're, they're messing up their glory, their story. And there's no there's no pretending with the most high. He's not mocked what a man uh, reapeth, he soweth. So, behold, I will bring them from the, the north country. You know, this is what's happening to us right now. All right. Some of us look like the other nations, but no, my, my dad is black and I'm, I look like the, the dude from this movie, Hacksaw Ridge, and, and his name happens to be Desmond. So, it's just, um, no, the Lord did this to, for his purpose. You know, he, he put families together to create, okay, and there's people out here. They're trying to mix and mingle, and they're, they don't even believe in God like this. So, you know, that's the thing. But they'll come in other people's families. And, and, you know, try to mix and mingle. You know, turn the narration. Um, but that's why even scriptures say, like, your foes should be those of your own household. You know, if I'm not suicidal, I don't carry a weapon. I don't, I'm not out here yelling in people's face. There's, there's something wrong with them. You know what I mean? It's like every time we, uh, every time we tell our story or, or try to get, we, we ain't forcing this no more. We ain't forcing nobody to be family. Ain't forcing nobody to be friends. Straight up, there's a story that they is hiding. And it's so big. Because now the Most High, he's about to, he's shortening the days for our sake, meaning we're going to see more of these prophecies come to pass. You're going to see a, a lot more suicides happening. All right, those picking up weapons, we was warning y'all. We was warning people about those guns. You don't want to have a gun in the time of the Lord when he's coming to deal with you. This is literally, that's what it's be about. Yeah, Jeremiah 31 and hey behold I will bring them from the north country that's America Babylon and gather them from the coast of the earth and with them the blind and the lame the woman with child and her that travail with child together a great company shall return hither it's all sp spiritual so Basically, my videos, they come in, and this ain't going to be when people bust through the door and start telling me what, what I have, but this is what's happening. What is this is home? Jeremiah 31 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles of far off. And say, he that scattereth Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd doeth his flock. He that scattereth Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd doeth his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than him. So this mark upon our forehead, like Revelations 22 and 4. This goes back to Ezekiel 9 and 4, Revelation 7, verse 2, the seal of the living God. Even in the in the movies and the shows, you can hear they they preach the devil's name. 
It's a brainwash uh, propaganda. So the TV was an invention to televi televise, tell people what to envision. And this is all came out to be sorcery. They got TVs out here that will tap into your pineal gland. And, and you don't really think the movie's actually happening. So there's this these seizures buddy, and all this. It all goes back food. to the scriptures. No, buddy! That's so, not your food. Yeah, the Lord told us to stop crying. We about to, we about to be in a joyce of rejoicement because this is, why this is so important to read. Jeremiah thirty one and sixteen. Let's say it the Lord, because this is the Lord. This is a relationship between you and the next side. You know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get better. No, Jeremiah 23 and 27 is it, it's, it's exposing. I mean, I don't want to be like these rich folks out here, like Kanye West, man. We talking about the 12 tribes with a with, with a billion dollars in his bank account, but we still out here weeping and 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 exposing the abominations. You know what I mean? But it's just we we do it with the, uh, in a different light now. You know, more perfectly. You know, because uh, the son of perdition is being revealed. You know, and it's it's heavy. So look, Jeremiah thirty-one and sixteen. Let's say the Lord Yahweh refrain thy voice from weeping, and the eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded. Say the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. So two part six sixteen on the screen. And there is hope in thy end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. So this is uh, speaking of, as the scriptures, like the people. Jeremiah 31 and 28, and it shall, and it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict. So will I watch over them to build and to plant, saith the Lord. And so, you know, you go to the, the verse above that, the 27th verse that says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. You know, you know according to Romans 11, 11, no, we are we're their last shot, you know what I mean? If they keep on killing us, and we be the fewest of all the nations right now, no, it's just, this means the Lord is really going to shorten up the end, all right? Um, yeah. Jeremiah 30 and 31, 31 and 31. The old days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband to unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they should be my people and verse 30, 34 is important this is all by the spirit this is we, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't telling people you know no more you know what I mean they gonna know they gonna know these churches out here wicked they gonna know that there's devil worship going on out here. There's people being quiet. The people, the people turning away from hearing the words of the Lord, man. That's scary, you know. This says this isn't flesh out here. This is this is spiritual out here. Like Luke uh, twelve and five, like fear him that has power to cast you into hell after man has killed you on this side. 
And that's that's who we fear. We fear the one who can throw you into hell for eternity. That's that's a real thing. Gash in the teeth. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahweh the Lord. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sins no more. You can't get you can't have your sins forgiven. You can't receive mercy without returning on to him. You can't receive um you can't receive your glory by not returning. So all these churches out here, they're being exposed by the Israelites. Because we don't even need a we don't need a building to do it. We don't need a I mean when 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 Revelations twenty one and twenty two says I saw no temple therein and Jeremiah seven verse four says that I mean people gotta be knowing these scriptures up in their mind before they go and, and like telling people, Hey, where has the Lord shooed you? And it's gonna match up with the scriptures. If it don't, that's a deceiver. Alright. Jeremiah 31, so the African Americans and the and, the, and the, the Native Americans that were genocide, right, from between 1500s to 1800s, right, all this, all this, these, these scriptures were written before even America was founded, and there's, there's prophecies and scriptures coming to pass. And now people are getting scared because, hey, all they all their life they've been they've been treating the chosen people like we the lowest of the of the totem pole. But really, the Most High He set that up for a reason. But like, who are you gonna believe? And you're gonna you're gonna believe a, a a paid out pastor or a paid out celebrity? That's there's a reason why we we became poor. In Proverbs 13, I believe verse seven. But this is, this is us as a nation we've been poor and just the least of our poorest nation it's gonna get to a time where I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna keep on stuff one day we might wake up have a million followers you know what I mean it's, it's just you're gonna know why all right it ain't gonna be like no surprise to you all right so the thing is, no, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need the multitude of, of, of uncultural followers. Uh, of, I don't need a million followers of people who is just gonna, you know, take this truth as a joke. You know, we don't, it's not what we do it for. Jeremiah 31. 35, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon, and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves there of war. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. And this is what they want. They want, they want, they wish, it's almost like, no, that's where the old hatred comes from, the old, you know, all they had to do was love their brother, that's it, literally, and, and verbal, verbally, spiritually, physically, love your brother, because the Lord, he's watching down, <laughs> like, he's, he, he's going to be the one that knocks the crown off of uh, the crown of pride is, uh, that's what, that's what the, uh, back in the days, kings used to wear the golden crowns, silver crowns to reflect the royalty or power, you know, but, well, we still got those kings out here today, people who live like that, and sometimes a crown is having a house, a car, a family, and, and bills, money in the bank. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, we haven't had that, and no, I'm just, 
I'm glad to be poor because it's just, there's a there's a there's a there's a richness that comes with it. So, um, I could I could bring you all the way back to when I broke my neck and I'm still here with the broken neck type of deal. And the Lord, this is what they left me out the condition I was left out in. So people not believing it. That's that's going to be on them, but the, the scriptures are showing us this ever did as a real. The Lord is dealing with this one. Let's look. Look at this. Jeremiah thirty three and four. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is in, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, who I have slain in my anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from the city. Lord, I will bring, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and I will build them as at the first and I will cleanse them from all their inequity whereby they have sinned against me and I will pardon all their inequities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me you got to remember the land of Judah the land of, the land of Judah was is filled with wickedness and this is what our land is right here this is like us that have the lion-like features, okay, just like the Native Americans. No, we we this is this is our soil. All this all this country he gave us, the children of Judah. Look, and we're gonna we gonna, we gonna bring it back out. Look, and it should be to me a name of joy, a praise, and a, and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus saith the Lord again, there shall be heard in this place which ye shall be, which ye shall say, shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness. The voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first day of the Lord. Remember Osmos 8 and 11. You know, this is, it's destiny right now. We're in those days right now. They, the, the people, the people that are still living right now, they're going to be wishing that they was listening. They're going to be ashamed that they didn't listen. They're going to be, they're going to be afraid that they didn't listen. Let's say the Lord of hosts again in this place, which is destined without man and without beast and all the cities that have shall be a habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. All right. Look at this. Look at verse uh, 14. I mean, our flocks out here, we ain't going to my people and we don't. We don't we don't eat pork we don't we don't eat catfish we don't we don't call upon the same god that these churches are being exposed of right now jeremiah 23 and 27 acts 17 and 23 uh, according to revelations 18 come out of her spiritually this is sodom and gomorrah we ain't i am not trying to be no sodomite 
lived with a sodomite and I seen that they were just pure demonic and witchcraft and uh, uh, necromancy and you know it's just no nah, there's no there's no getting through to people like that when pride is sealed up when you, you got the pride of seal on you and not the uh, what is it the seal of pride on you excuse me Instead of the seal of the Most High Living God, you know. This is why he says, Woe unto them, um, somewhat not of his, the Lord's Spirit. Jeremiah 33 and 14. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform a good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. So this is happening right now before everybody, whether they believe in God or not. It doesn't. The Lord's not waiting for. Hey, he's not waiting. <laughs> this is why he's not slack concerning his reward, man. The Lord, he's, he's so terrible. He's not waiting for millions of people to start following me. No, he 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 doesn't rock like that. What he's doing is he's seeing how many people are really about that life. You gotta sell everything, follow me, and like the scripture says, we went from house to house teaching the word of the Lord. So, basically, a faithful witness is constantly speaking. There's a reason why our videos come out to be an hour long. With well, a lot of these people, you ain't talked to in over ten years, five years, five weeks. When you, you open up the scriptures, he, he tells us how we're supposed to move Back ourselves. Up. Slow Dude. to anger. Wise as serpents, harmless as doves. We ain't out here beating people. We ain't out here starting arguments with people. What we got to do is argue with these churches on why the fuck kids is being sexually abused in the name of who they want to call the Messiah. So... When men, when when that guy comes out and he's he's telling men to come together and they ain't, they ain't dropping a follow on the page, man. Oh, uh, y'all want to stay away from that? I mean, this 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 is this is it. The Lord got a he got a scripture for everything under the sun. No, the the sun he ain't gonna be in that spirit where. Uh, no, we we don't need people like that, man. See, because one thing I know about network marketing, when you tell somebody they can't be a part of something, it's the worst they want to be a part of it. So remember remember what the type of videos I was making five years ago, saying, yeah, only few people getting saved. Not it, not all these people on this, this planet about to get saved. What are they doing? What are they doing for the living Lord? The name that they changed. What are they doing for... To, to, to proclaim and praise Yahweh by Shimei Hoshah. To understand that, yeah, the Hebrews are waking up according to they, um, to, to the glory that the Lord is restoring, like it spoke of in scriptures. Yeah, we, we, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to say I'm a, I'm a true Jew. I'm not no fake ass Jew. Okay. Revelations 2 and 9, 3 and 9. They put me up on a... They don't want to bring me uh, to these big... Uh, these places where we have videos. Because, uh, hey, I'll say something to wake the people up. No, we, we understand why they want to keep the kid hidden, man. And you, some people better understand. Some Sometimes I just wanted to be hidden. Because, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't in the right conditions. Calm down. There ain't nothing there. So... No, well, sometimes I be floating better by myself, man. When when you ain't got when you when you live the summer by yourself and experience what it really is. No, well, it, it just exposes social media. It exposes it exposes all these churches. It exposes everybody who you think's for you. Okay, Jeremiah thirty three and fifteen. This is. In those days, and at that time, I will cause the branch of righteousness to grow up onto David. Not everybody out here, David. Not every, not everybody out here, 
trying to understand who David was, what was his purpose of being here when he was born. Oh, because the Lord promised him with the oath that the Messiah is going to come out of his, his seed, his sperm. So the Virgin Mary, no, that, that thing is a tooth fairy, all right? What, what they telling people out here in these churches is just, they, hey, if you want to follow that, you go ahead and be the dummy. You're going to see in the end. Hey, Lily, hey, gathering people in there so they could, just like we seen, put that juice in them, man. Jeremiah 33 and 15. And he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. Who's he? See, there's, there's so many scriptures. Oh, people better be afraid of the Messiah is back here in these last days. Like, for his last time, you know? Because this, this is literally... If they waiting for a song to come out of him, this is just literally... No, he done, he done, he been singing like a canary. Exposing the tooth fairy. No, it's it constantly speaking, man. When people see that that quiet dude, ain't he ain't quiet no more. No, that's going to be people's wake up, man. Just like um, a lot of the great speakers, man. Just basically... I can break uh, I can break this down to a science, yeah. This is Acts 17 and 30, Revelations 7 verse 2 and verse uh 22 verse 4. The winking is this ain't a, like this is drawn up from the most high. He he spoke and it was created, you know. You know the, the light and the dark the darkness can't comprehend the light. There's, there's all these are all parables, you know. They they don't understand why we out here sleeping in the streets, sleeping on couches, all right. Speaking up on the way we speaking. No, there's 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 more rappers dying weekly, monthly, okay, following that music agenda, all right. Oh, I mean, it's, it's sick out here. And like the scripture says, how they spell music in the scriptures is music. M-U-S-I-C-K, I believe. Uh, like literally, I don't follow these bitches out here. I don't be talking and fucking flirting with these bitches out here. That's straight up. I, I'm looking for real, real men and women. All right, who who really fear the Lord, our God, Yahweh, by should be on shut. Because the scriptures just reveal, and um, uh, these if these people were for you, man, they really be for you, and you gonna feel it, man. This is uh, as a man, as a man. No, they want somebody. Uh, they they. they they want the feminine. They, 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 they we, we ain't doing that, man. No feminine man is getting into the kingdom. Men shouldn't have to speak soft to each other, man. This is literally a man being a man. There's people out here killing people. Women out here getting raped, getting abused. All right. There's womanizers out here who just sleep with women just to get. They have a place to stay, man. The whoremongers. Yeah, all these things are out here, man. But I, yeah, I didn't have to. I ain't never been with a woman like that. I ain't never had to do that to get a woman. I ain't got no problem getting a chick. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got no. Yeah, I ain't got no issues there, man. Thing is, there's, there's just. You got to separate yourself to collect yourself. And that's just literally the Bible is the only thing that could hey, fix those broken pieces. When, when my last chick out here, I mean, y'all get stopped. Stop all the pills. Stop all that. Hey, drinking all that. That is literally all witchcraft. 